This video explains how to merge pandas data frames based on index values using the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to import the pandas library, as you can see in the first line of code. And after running this line of code, we can use the data frame constructor, as you can see in the second part of the code, to create an example data frame. So if you run these lines of code, you can see below the code box that a new data frame has been created, which contains two columns called x1 and x2, and five rows with the index values a, b, c, d, and e. We also need to create a second data frame for this example that we can combine with the first data frame. And we can do that, as you can see, in the next part of the code. So after running these lines of code, you can see another data frame appearing below the code box. And this data frame contains the three columns y1, y2, and y3. And the index values of this data frame are ranging from the letters c to h. So you might already notice that some of the index values in our first data frame are also existing in the second data frame. So if we want to merge these two data frames in Python, we can use the merge function, as you can see in the next part of the code. And within the merge function, we need to specify the names of our two input data frames. So in this case, our data frames are called data1 and data2. And we also need to specify the left index and right index arguments to be equal to true in order to merge our data based on the index values. So if you run these lines of code, you can see that we have created a merged version of our two input data frames. And this final data frame contains the two columns of our first input data frame, x1 and x2, as well as the columns of our second data frame, y1, y2, and y3. And you can also see that the output data frame contains only three different rows because those index values have been contained in both input data frames. So in other words, in this first example, we have applied an inner join to our data frames. However, it's also possible to merge data frames based on the index values using other kinds of joins. So in the next example, I want to show you how to use an outer join to merge our data frames. So as you can see in the next code box, we are using the same syntax as in the previous example. However, in addition to that, we are specifying the how argument to be equal to outer. So after running these lines of code, you can see that another data frame has been created. And this data frame is an outer merge of our two input data frames based on the index values of these data frames. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video, so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.